What a beautiful piece of foam. That's it? No bag? Eh, whatever. Welcome everyone to a box opening for this Steiner P4XI rifle scope. This is a one to four illuminated reticle scope. I picked this up on Optics Planet uh, last week. It finally got here just yesterday. Um, got a really good deal on it. I opted for the non um, throw lever version because I saved like 60 or 70 dollars. I paid 383 dollars for this to my door. I'm going to be using this on a trainer rifle, so this is actually going to be going on my Ruger American Bolt Action 22. And then I'm going to eventually be getting Ruger's, uh, probably their ranch in 7.62x39, unless they come out with one that's chambered in 2.23 and, and takes mini 14 magazines. Only reason for that is I have tons of 2.23 at home, and uh, I want to use some of it up, and I don't really shoot my AR anymore, so I, I wanted to... Uh, put this on a bolt gun. I think for me it would just be a lot more enjoyable. Well, so what do we have? Well, we have a scope. We've got a nice box. Um, very nicely uh, illustrated. And good pictures on there. Got some instruction manuals and a battery. They claim that this is a daylight bright reticle, or at least illuminated reticle. It is already nighttime, so I won't be able to test that, or at least not right now. It takes a single 2032 technical manual, blah, 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 introduction. You guys can pause this if you want. I'm not gonna take the time going through all this. You could read this. You could read the technical specs whenever you want online. I'll, I'll link this. I'll post a link in the description. Heritage warranty and customer care. I don't know what their warranty is, but I'm sure it's pretty good. Steiner E two year optics warranty blah 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 covers all blah, 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 valid in US and Canada only. I don't think I have to worry about it too much. Oh look at that. They even give you a nice sticker. Steiner, nothing escapes you. Not so bad. Alright, well let's uh let's see what we got here. A lot of people complain that the turrets are mushy. I don't I can't see that being much of an issue. So this is in half minute adjustments. I really don't think, I wouldn't quantify that as being mushy. The detent on, the, on this turret is, it's there. It's not razor sharp as far as it's just a solid click, click, click like my uh, 5 to 20 was. But considering this is a capped scope and you never, I mean a capped turret scope and once you set it, you pretty much forget it. I don't see that being much of an issue. It lines up on the numbers, on the hash marks, just fine. Very smooth. Not tight at all. I have no problems with this at all. Now, if this was an exposed turret, um, I'd then want just the hash marks to come down to the, to the arrow a little bit more. But other than that, this is actually really nice. All right, so... I just pulled out my SWFA 10X real quick to show you a comparison because I'm sure you know more about these turrets than you might know about that turret. But this is what a, a pretty good turret feels like and sounds like. But still, again, I mean, this is a little bit more, more precise as far as it really clicking into place. But that is nowhere near what I would consider bad. Very little play in between. It's not like it's moving in between two hash marks before it starts to click. It's it's right on point. So I'm not I'm not concerned about that at all. I think people that criticize that just want are looking for something to c complain about. As far as the magnification ring goes, it's a little tight. I'm sure if this is mounted low down on the, re on the receiver of a rifle, it might be a little bit difficult to turn. But do I need a throw lever on this? No, not at all. This is more than easy enough. It does have a very long throw though. I mean, you're talking about from going to one, 1x to 4x, it's 
180 degrees. So it does take a while to get there, but it gets there very smoothly. Let's see this ocular adjustment again. Nothing surprising here. Very smooth, easy to adjust. I kind of don't like the fast adjust eyepieces because I'm afraid that they'll constantly just get moved around. But I'll probably end up putting a um, a cover on this and it'll prevent it from moving around. As far as the glass, how does the glass look? Well, it's beautiful. I believe these are made in the USA. I don't know if they have uh, American glass or German glass, but very, very nice quality. Uh, balance, come on, pretty good. This way you don't have to worry about having too much weight over the front of your rifle. I like my the, the weight of my rifle to be closer to my shoulder. Let's check out that reticle. Wow. Very clean and precise. I'm going to roll in some footage over here. I'm going to try to get this with my other camera. But I really like it. I like how I like how the uh, the lines taper towards the center. They go thick from the outside and much much finer and more precise towards the middle. And even at I mean I'm at 4x but Yeah. Very clear from what I can tell so far. I have no doubts that this is going to blow my mind when, once I get it out in the daylight. All right, well, let's, let's see what, that, what the illumination looks like. It should just unscrew. There we go. Oh, there's already a battery in. No, wait. Okay, there is a battery in there. Why? Oh, oh, it does come on. I'm retarded. I should have checked before that. I wasn't. I wasn't expecting this to uh, to come on. Make sure I don't strip these threads. I'd be very upset about that. It's a little difficult to take this cap on and off. I kind of wish there was another ring over here, like a knurled part. That this way you can grab it and then turn the cap. But you put a little pressure with your nail on the actual illumination ring, and then it moves pretty easily. All right, I'm not gonna lock that up too much. All right, so let's go to, again, I'm gonna roll in some B footage on this probably. Night vision does nothing. Ah. I'm on the first level of, of the brightness setting and I can already see it. It's a very small finite dot. Oh, quiet phone. Wow. Well, that gets extremely bright. Like, ridiculously bright. Like, if we were out in the sun right now, in the middle of the desert, I have no, I would have no problem seeing that. There are... This entire range is useful. It's not like on some regular... Vo um, like, I have a Strike Fire 2, where it seems like most of the settings are the exact same. This, every single option on it, is perfect. Perfect as in it does exactly what it's supposed to. A little bit brighter, a little bit brighter, a little bit brighter until it's like you're looking at the sun. I am very, very satisfied so far. Um, oh, one thing I should note, is this a real 1X? No, it's not a real 1X, but it's pretty close. I'd have to put it at about 1 and quarter or so maybe a little bit less it definitely still has some magnification at 1x but even i mean i'm not even a yard away from my wall it everything is still very clean and there's very little fisheye only at the very extreme parts of the of the uh the view do you really see any sort of fisheye excellent excellent very very good well i hope you enjoyed the video Stay tuned because there are more to come with this scope and maybe even a couple other my scopes. Thanks for watching.